Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back. It's me, your boy, The Film Chronicles, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing some pretty damn cool titles that are going to be getting a film adaptation. The projects actually are all coming from Boom Studios. Boom Studios is a really great comic book publisher, but I would say severely underrated. I think they stand against Marvel and DC in terms of the popularity that they're growing and also the great stories that they're telling with the various writers that they have, and it's going to be really cool to see these projects come to life on screen. Uh, there are more details to get into so that's going to be the bulk of this video like i said earlier on but before i start getting into that i just wanted to bring up some channel analytics uh and i wanted to give you guys my stance on this so that way you guys know you know what exactly uh is going on with the channel and how i feel about it at this point currently so overall i would say it's pretty good i, I thank you guys so much for whoever you know tunes in and actually watches these pretty actively the 160 subscribers i can't thank you guys enough for that that's a pretty damn good start i would say for the first year i mean it could be a lot more but you know at the pace that i'm going it's pretty well received i love it and uh all the interactions that we have are pretty great so i thank you guys for that but going over the the actual channel analytics uh so a lot of people that do click on this video, so this is to you if you're watching this right now, uh, you are not subscribed to the channel. So just consider subscribing because that's like about 98% of the people that watch this video are not subscribed. It'd be really awesome to have you guys as a part of this and kind of get you guys used to the weekly content that comes out and the various things that I try to talk about and give the info on. So, you know, just have that in consideration and I would totally appreciate that. On top of all the support that you've already been giving, I just want to ask for just a little bit more just a little bit guys that's all that's all i gotta you know say about that so yeah go ahead and smash that like button like i said and leave a comment if you guys want to and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and click that button right there and then just turn on that notification bell so that we guys never miss any new videos that drop on the channel all right guys let's get right into this video so the, for the first adaptation coming from Boom Studios is actually going to be Something is Killing the Children, which is arguably Boom Studios' most popular comic book. Uh, it's written by James Tinian uh, IV, and then the, the author is, or sorry, the artists and the colorists uh, are Werther Del Edera and Giovanna Nero for the covers. And then uh, the colorist is Mikael Muerto. And then uh, James Tinian, again, is the writer and he created the story overall. Uh, so it contains very good uh, character work, backstory. The setting is pretty chilling. It's set in a, a town called Archer's Peak where children all of a sudden go missing. And the only ones that survive tell these stories about these horrifying monsters that pretty much have killed the kids. And no one believes them except for this one stranger who happens to be this uh, young woman named Erica Slaughter and she actually believes this and sees the monster and is the only one to do something until we find out more about her backstory and it kind of is elaborated upon. It's a very well written comic book. I highly recommend you guys read this and uh, order it off of Boom Studios directly or some other form of comic book purchasing online or wherever you guys go you guys should be able to find it. So the actual adaptation is going to be pretty exciting because it's going to be a series based off of something that's killing the children. It's coming from Mike Flanagan, who's a really big name right now in the horror industry, just having come off uh, The Haunting of Hill House, uh, recently Midnight Mass on Netflix, and then of course he did the Doctor Sleep, uh, the Shining sequel recently, and that was really well done. So he's a pretty damn good uh, horror director, and it's it's good that he's going to be behind the wheel of this adaptation, just because again, guys, like the story is really really good so it's something that you wouldn't want to see fucked up in terms of you know adapting the storyline and making it something that it, it shouldn't be especially when the seed for everything is already there for you guys so again that's really exciting news because they're going to be uh, tackling this and developing it into a full uh, series and that series will actually be uh, on Netflix and it's a part of a first look deal that Boom Studios just did with Netflix so there's a couple other titles that I'll be talking about and then I'll, I'll talk about some titles that I think should get adaptations but again this is that first one um, it's really early in development at this point they're pretty much just getting the treatment ready and to get uh, the casting going pretty soon I, I would think and then we'll know more details by you know the beginning of next year if anything uh, if they work really fast maybe by the end of the year but it is something that you guys should look forward to so so again, something is killing the children. Uh, Boom Studios, go and purchase it, start reading it, and get ready for that adaptation to come out. So the second project that's in development from Netflix and Boom Studios is actually going to be Berserker, which is a comic book written by Keanu Reeves. 
and Matt Kent, and then it's illustrated by the famed Marvel artist Ron Garney with colors by Bill Crabtree. So it is a pretty damn cool comic book. Uh, my dad and I, we well, my dad ordered just some for us, and uh, it looks really exciting, and I can't wait to read the story because the story is essentially set over 80,000 year fight through the ages. Uh, it follows this immortal known as B, who's half mortal, half god. He's compelled to violence, even at the cost of his own sanity, and he finds that after wandering the u.s for quite a while that his goal is to be with the government and fight the battles too violent or too dangerous for anybody else to do because of his abilities and in exchange he'll be able to learn more about his past via some help and how to basically end his existence essentially because he is cursed so it is announced as a netflix movie first and foremost and then it will be followed up by a anime series that will pretty much expand on b's story and different elements of him himself rather than trying to get all that in one movie and keanu reeves will be voicing the character in the anime series and portraying b in the live action and it's also kind of obvious because of his likeness uh, to berserker himself so i mean it is essentially him in the comic book so it's actually pretty cool because Matson tomlin writer of the batman well one of the writers of the batman with robert pattinson and coming from director matt reeves so i think it's definitely safe to say that the film adaptation is in very good hands that'll be immediately followed up by the anime series that i mentioned so that's one really cool thing keanu reeves was recently interviewed from collider he basically said that end quote we're working with netflix who have been very cool they're going to let us do an r-rated story which is cool my ambition or hope is not to do a film version of the comic book so that they'll have things in common definitely the main character and his kind of rule set but that we can take it to other places as well we're talking to a couple of different animation companies and try to figure that out and again for me i'm hoping to be inspired and influenced dot 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 there are some rules to the story but i also want other creators to do their version of it so i'm hoping to do a different version of a metaverse where in the sense of having different storytellers with one set of rules but go other places with it we're working on trying to set up a company with the animation and we hired a writer for the film mattson tomlin he's been cool and just starting to put things together so that's where we're at end quote and much like something is killing the children this is very uh, first stage development uh, just getting the bare bones written down and all that good stuff so we'll have more news soon but this is one of the more anticipated projects coming out of boom studios i would say it's kind of exceeding something that's killing the children uh, just because it's the most recent thing and it's been breaking some records and again keanu reeves name is attached to it so that kind of elevates it to a certain point but nonetheless we're getting two great boom studios projects that are going to be adapted for live action and that's really exciting to get especially with keanu reeves having his comeback with the matrix resurrections uh later this or next year so that's a really cool thing to see is that he's getting more active with the development and he's actually getting hands-on with these so i'm excited to see this and i hope you guys are too so now I'm going to talk about two other comic books from the same studio that I kind of hope get the Netflix adaptation treatment, whether it is a series or it is a set of films. But I would love to see, uh, first and foremost, Once in Future, also a really great horror slash sci-fi thriller um, action adventure comic book story from the same studio itself. Uh, contains really great characters and awesome artwork and i mean i'm a sucker for arthurian legends and once in future really has some great stories it concerns a elderly monster hunter who is noted to the reawakening of an ancient evil from some uh group of cult-like people and she enables the help of her grandson who also has sort of some sort of destiny lined up with this and it's a really fun read and it has great artwork on it and uh, i can't elaborate just how ripe this is for an actual adaptation so i would love to see this come out in the next you know couple of months as far as some info dump as far as who they have attached to this and then the the last one is actually going to be uh we only find them when they're dead so this is another kind of space opera slash space thriller it concerns a group of um, scavengers almost and uh, they pretty much go to these ancient deities like these godlike beings um they're huge they're massive in size they're just floating in space and again the title implies that they only find them when they're dead but the main character's goal is to find one alive even at the cost of the rest of his crew and what they don't know about these beings so it is you know again a really ripe story for 
you know netflix and boom studios to kind of put their heads together and push for some sort of development in terms of a tv or film adaptation and it would be again really cool to see this come out and i can't wait for more boom studios titles to get more announcements just because they have this first look deal with netflix and yeah that's gonna pretty much conclude this video guys it was uh, very fun making this and talking about this i hope you guys are gonna look up these titles and try to get some info on it and you know order the copies uh it might take a while just because again guys like they're really popular right now and they're they're getting you know passed around word of mouth so it's gonna be kind of hard to find you know number ones and number twos so just keep that in mind but be on the lookout and try to get those so until then guys uh be on the lookout for more videos i do have a couple planned ones i got a matrix video planned i got some more top five horror film suggestions for this uh part of the year so it'd be like a mid october 2021 you know set videos i'll be doing netflix uh hulu hbo max and then i also have shutter so i'll be looking through there and seeing what the top five horror films are currently streaming right now so be on the lookout for those videos guys and again turn on those notification bells so you get that way you guys don't miss those and then again smash that like button leave a comment on you know what you think about this video and what do you think about the adaptations and the titles alone and if they appeal to you or not i want to hear you guys' opinion so again thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and i hope you guys have a good one peace